in this angular application we have done so many things but still there is something that we can improve from the ux point of view if you will see over here we are having couple of fields and here it is is book published we are displaying true ideally we should display it as yes or no true and false doesn't make any sense from the ux perspective also if you will have a look on this published on date then this date is something that is you know hard to understand for anyone now we have to format all these things properly and that can be done by using the pipes in angular application the pipe is something that is used to format the data there are some built-in pipes in angular application you can work on them and if you think that these pipes are not sufficient to format your data then you can also create your custom pipe so first let's talk about the built-in pipes in angular application to have a look on all the built-in pipes in angular application you can navigate to the official angular website and here you can search for api and then type is equals to pipe so this is the url to get a list of all the pipes and here you will see we are having a list of all the pipes it is async pipe date pipe json pipe lowercase slice uppercase so many things are there and all of these things can be used to format your data now let's understand all of them one by one and here first we will start with the title property let's navigate to this card page and this card is available inside this book card over here and this is the place we are displaying this book detail in a card okay so basically i want to format this book title and to format this data i can use some pipe to use a pipe you have to just provide one pipe symbol and this is the symbol that is available one key above your enter key okay and here you have to provide the name of your pipe so let's say here i'm writing uppercase cool just save all the changes and go back to the browser this time and here you will see that we are getting all of them in the upper cases this is how you can format your data we are not making any change in the api no logic is written anywhere we are simply using one pipe and this is very helpful to format the data now let's say i want to make some changes in this published on date also and for this one we are having the date pipe where is the date pipe let's see what details are there basically we can use this value expression and this is the date that we can write we can also pass couple of parameters over here so first let's start with this simple date okay so where is this published on here it is and to format it i can simply use the date that's it save all the changes and let's see what we have on the browser just have a look the date has been formatted properly so here it is displaying july 25 2022 this is how you can work with the date pipe if you want to pass some kind of parameters over here then you can also write let's say mm mm dd y y y y and let's go back to the browser here you will see that we are having the date in this format okay if you want to have only two things at the last for the year basically and you will see the date has been formatted accordingly so this is something you can use in the angular application you can pass a couple of arguments in this pipe also and you can format it as per your need this is not the only thing that we can have in angular application there are so many things let's say here i'm having lowercase now what will happen all of them will be converted to the lowercase here it is even if you are saving the data in uppercase in your database and you are getting it from the api but this formatter has just formatted the data in the lowercase there is one more built-in pipe that is very useful and it is title case this one save the changes go back to the browser let's see what we have in the title case you will see that we are having a proper formatted title the first one is in the caps and second one is in the lower now let's remove this logic because because the default date pipe is looking very good this is how you can work with the built-in pipes in angular application and you can get a list of all of them from this place key value pair percentage title slice let's say if you are having a string and you want to hide some of the part then you can use this slice this one we have already used to view the details of a particular object so you can use this one and this async pipe is very useful when you think that your data will come after some time so basically if you are getting some data from the api or some other place and it will take some time to get then in that scenario you can use this async pipe and this will display the data whenever it will be available 